17th, 2024. Outside, um, acting on my a guy walked out and he got on his phone and he said, the ones investigating here today want to know if Will's done playing with that psycho dick and did all those things to her before. Yeah. That psycho bitch having all those people do stuff to her. And he was complaining. Michelle is a psycho bitch. Having people stalk me, photoshop scene. Drug me up and tell me to say stuff in the sex extortion act. Her ass should have been in jail the first day for being a bio sick criminal. And everybody involved. Only tired to see my agent said there's no excuse that that agent didn't take care of you the first day and arrest those people for what they did to you. On a recorded line, he admitted he spoke to everyone before me. He was seen. At that church, telling over 300 people I called the FBI before I must have done it. There was never staying quiet. Like my friend from the prosecutor's office. Star County Prosecutor's Office. That agent was always boring. He didn't have the authority to stay, ask you to stay quiet. It takes a sitting judge. And no sitting judge would sign his own arrest warrant, taking your freedom of speech away outside of the retrial. And why did you stay quiet in the first place? When everybody knows. Hmm? It was Agent John that told him. It's verified. Where uh, they made fun of him June 7, 23. FBI Agent John felt for the sound of tapes before. Oh, come on now. That FBI Agent fell for the sound of tapes before. You're kidding. Is that what's going on? FBI Agent John fell for the sound of tapes before. Ha 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 ha. Any serious other confession? Got a confession. They drugged everything and photoshopped everything and made everything up on me. Stocking things. Hmm. On a recorded line, I told him somebody told on me before. He called me a liar. Okay, it was verified. It was FBI agent John at Apostolic Church of Barberton with his own confession. He talked to everyone before me. Okay. I tell him about the guy that uh, threatened uh, to knife me a tiny oak with their camera bug of engine. I don't know. He's like, you say you're a liar, I'll put you in jail. There's badger in the world. Obstruction of justice, tampering with witnesses. Department of Justice, 1729. I told him, I said, well, he tried to kidnap me before Terry Cove Racino. I take the word of permission. He had to glory as a family member and dismembered her. And then went on to take my house manager's uh, nieces. And um, he was wanted. He's part of the Florida human traffickers. So is Michelle and Lauren. Okay. All right. I tell him, um, I said, well, you tried to get him before. You liar. Terry, let me tape her with her permission. Okay. He's like, even if a church person seen him, they would never verify it. She did. Let me tape her with her permission. I almost told him Terry seen him. But the way he was talking to me, I didn't. He said, um, I know they're trying to kill you because you were faking. You were sick and faking. You got one way. It was a medication error. Strangest lie. Okay. He said, was there a camera on the bench when you heard that guy threaten to knife you? I don't know. Either say or lie or arrest you. He said, I've met with those church people and that family that lost their kid in an accident that I had nothing to do with. Her father was speeding, ran a stop sign, and had a semi. Tell them both. My whole family was at home. I had six to ten surgeries. My muscles locked up. And um, I went to a bunch of crackpots. I, they possibly diagnosed me as well from my feet to my brain. My brain was swelling. My heart got off. My thyroid injury and leg quit working. Um, and they lied so bad they said I had level 2 pituitary tumors in my brain and they wanted to remove my pituitary gland. I went to my regular doctor and they're like, whoa, the only thing's wrong with you is uh, your muscles locked up from having all those surgeries and you got the golden ticket insurance company and those doctors are falsely diagnosing you, writing out big prescriptions and getting kickbacks from 200 to to $1,000 per false prescription. They're sharing with your associates and their friends. OK. 
okay? Hmm? Associates and their friends. And um, they're wanting to do unnecessary procedures. Get off the medication and you'll be fine. It's a medication making you sick. There's nothing wrong with you. I went to Dr. Eli. He occurred. He got me on fentanyl patches because my muscles were locked tight. Took me off all the medication first month. I lost 30 pounds. Um, by the second month, my heart was beating fine. My thyroid adrenaline plan was working and my brain swelling was gone. Took me nine months to learn to walk all again. I was almost, I started in November of 2002. By April, I was almost well. May 3rd, 2003 was that traffic accident. And I finished getting well in July. And strange made up that lie in November of 2003 when I thought I got a seven and it all three. And strange is lying. Okay. And I had nothing to do with that traffic accident of her father speeding in front of people. And my whole family's at home. And he runs a stop sign into a semi. They just picked out someone to go. Okay. All right. He said, I, now I'm getting back to what that agent said on a report of lying. I've had that family in my office that lost their kid in that accident. He said, and I've had, uh, I've met with all those church people and I know they're trying to kill you because you were faking you were sick before. Well, he was sick before. You liar. He's like, was there a camera? He said, and even if some, I told him that guy tried to kidnap me before, even if a church person had seen him, they would never verify it. Well, she did. Okay? He's already confessed. He talked to everyone. So why would you stay quiet? Like my friend from the prosecutor's office, he was only bullying you. So they get away with it. That's why he did it. Okay? Criminal attorney doesn't have that authority. He's only a higher police officer. Same with the police department. Department, uh, the Constitution it takes a judge in a jury trial to take and put a gag order on you. Okay? He's only bullying me so they get away with this. He already confessed he talked to everyone. So why would you ask someone to stay quiet so they get away with them? Aiding and embedding crimes. Hmm? He's like, was there a camera above the bench or not? I don't know. He's like, you either say you're lying or I'll put you in jail. And I said, what? He said, now was there a camera above the bench or not? I don't know. Then I'll arrest you. I'm like, fine, whatever. <sighs> I want you to say you're faking your sick. It's documented medical malpractice. Documented medication errors. It took me nine months to learn to walk again. And to get well. After, well, it took, um, from the beginning and down, it was like four years. Hmm? I really was sick before. You either say you're faking your sick, or I'll leave you there. I said, I really was sick. He's like, I've had those, that family in my office, and I've met with all those church people, and I know they're trying to kill you. Because you were faking your sick before. I said, I really was sick. He's like, you need to realize what you've done. I ain't do anything strange to lie to me. You either say you're faking your sick, or I'll leave you there. And I'm like, but they'll kill me so. They've tried to kill me so. Give me a real reason. He's like, and I'll, or I'll take that back. He said, um, you either say it or I'll leave you there. But they'll kill me. I'm begging this bastard for and he's like, you either say it or I'll leave you there. It's like, fine, whatever. Just don't let him get me. <sighs> he's like, why would that FBI help a person like you? Well, it's a sworn duty. We'll put it that way. He's like, why would they help a person like you? They're going to try to kill me. So, they try to kill me. So. Give me a real race. Another agent yells out about Pete's tape of the shower scene in the other room. They already confessed. You know, weird, whatever. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Find out Pete's Alex in the beard framing retired Judge Pete in the courthouse up there. It's a big scam. The only Pete I know is my brother Medina. I'm like, what are you talking about? Okay, then he says something about Pete, and it's one of the rookie confessions where I had black and blue marks. I, I couldn't explain throwing up, heart racing, and a severe personal infection. And I never seen or talked to anybody before the FBI. And I'm like, what is he talking about? And he's like, stop, she don't know. I bet you're going to say you didn't know anything about some doctor with all this information. Found out that it was uh, some guy impersonating a doctor. 
I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I thought, well, some other lady used to use my insurance. And I don't, you know, we reported insurance fraud. Maybe it's one of her bills. Hmm? And he's yelling at me so bad, I can't hardly think. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Stop, she knows. Give me a real reason for my brother-in-law, Craig. Craig M. Davis died in March 26, 1990. Worked underneath Dick Cheney in the CIA. And I was describing him to him. He's like, well, I could take you somewhere and leave you. I don't have any money to start. Well, uh, he said, or I could list I could list you in form. It comes with 5,000 a month to get information on Dave and the churches. Oh, I can do that. They're already confessing to three people in the mall. Um, and I already got somebody to verify they were impersonating me. Okay? And I thought, it won't take long, and I'll be set for life. They said, it comes with 5000 a month. I'm opening an account today. Nothing, uh, you'll have a life of peace as an informant. Nothing legally stated, dated against you again. And only for you, and only for you, would we ever do this for. We'll always put it back as if it never happened. Even when you tell, you can't be legally charged for anything again for working this case, and you'll have that money to live on when you move out. He said, um, I meant to no wrongdoing, and I'll take care of everything in the end. Okay? Then he says, if you try to tell someone, I'll let you crazy, I know not you. What part of, you had the Pegasus in your office and the church people met with all of them. And you were already seen by the police telling on me. And Dave told Danny where I told him someone told on me at that church. Then he talked to him at that church. Everybody knew. Like, my friend from the prosecutor's office, he was pulling you so they get away with it. Saving at betting crimes. Mm -hmm. I talked to a criminal attorney in the police department. An agent is only a higher police officer. He doesn't have the right or the authority to ask anybody to stay quiet. He's only a higher police officer, and they all know it. And it's not in any court order. No sitting judge would sign his own arrest warrant, taking somebody's freedom of speech away outside a jury trial. They're bullshitting everybody so that they can steal from cases. I'm going to blow this up.